Effective Academic Writing Unit 5 Opinion Paragraphs After completing Unit 5, students will be able to Use brainstorming and outlining to write an opinion paragraph. Use reasons to support an opinion. Distinguish between fact, explanation, and experience in an opinion paragraph. Practice the use of there is and there are to introduce a fact. Use because of and because for giving reasons. And edit a paragraph for correcting mistakes in the use of there is and there are, and because of or because. Part 1. Stimulating Ideas. Let's take a look at this beautiful picture. Stimulating Ideas. Describe the picture you just saw. What kinds of natural beauty do you see? How might the natural landscape affect the people who live here? Would you like to live in a place like this? Why or why not? Opinion paragraph City with a Gray Green Heart I think of Seattle as having a gray green heart. It is a city shaped by nature, a city of snow-covered mountains, sparkling glaciers and blue lakes. It has been called America's most dynamic city, the number one city of the future, and America's Athens by three major U.S. publications. But why has a town that is so far away from the nation's major power centers attracted so much attention? The answers may lie in Seattle's youthful energy and its scenery. Seattle began as a wild pioneer town, and its energy continues in vigorous political activity and in the quiet creation of more millionaires per capita than any other urban area in the United States. Through six generations of gold seekers, lumberjacks, teachers, fishermen, airplane builders, and software inventors, we all share the feeling that living here is an adventure. You would be hard-pressed to find a city as beautiful as Seattle. The Olympics in Cascade Mountains, Mount Baker and Mount Rainier, along with Lake Washington and Puget Sound all offer spectacular views. The Space Needle pokes up over Queen Anne Hill and the Lake Washington Canal shimmers across the narrow waist of the city. Because of this magnificent natural landscape, people are both calm and yet energized as if they shared a feeling that Seattle is a place of unlimited possibility. Glaciers mean rivers of ice. Per capita means per person. Poke up means to stand. Lumberjacks are workers who cut down trees for wood. A pioneer is an early settler in a natural area. Hard-pressed is challenged, and shimmer means to shine with a soft light. Brainstorming Ideas Brainstorm a list of three places where you would like to live. Give two or three reasons for each one. Do this on your own piece of paper. You want to label three ideal places to live, and you want to give two or three reasons for each one. Choose the place that you would like to write about. Under different categories, write reasons for why you would like to live there. Attractions such as temperate climate, beautiful scenery and interesting architecture. Opportunities such as low unemployment, excellent colleges and world-class museums. Cost of living such as inexpensive restaurants, convenient public transportation and affordable housing. And people such as talented cooks, diverse communities, and colorful personalities. Writing from brainstorming vocabulary. Select words from the chart above and use them to write five sentences about the place you would like to live. San Francisco has convenient publication. Please begin this exercise on your own piece of paper.